Well, kidney disease is a disease that almost everybody has, okay? Even if your kidneys are functioning at, a, at near a 90% capacity, you're still in stage one of kidney failure. You don't have to wreak havoc on them in order for them to start failing. They, they, they fail with age. Everybody told him he's going to just have to live with this uh, EGFR of 32, and uh, he, that's his new life. That's his new norm. His kidneys were injured. Boo-hoo. Well, <laughs> it's not true. And he was working and caught up in all the work and the business and the money, and uh, he forgot to urinate for two days. It happens. It happens very commonly. So that had led to urine backflowing into his kidneys, causing hydronephrosis and chronic tubular interstitial nephritis of the obstructive kind. Neurogenic bladder where voiding was nearly impossible without taking uh, a lot of medications that were prescribed to him that actually caused him hypotension and blurry vision and so much other things. Actually, his sleep apnea was not exactly sleep apnea. In fact, it wasn't sleep apnea at all. Uh, they prescribed him the CPAP machine. He couldn't tolerate it. And he was like, okay, I'll just live with the sleep apnea. But really, it was undiagnosed asthma. Now, this was particularly tricky because this man was on a lot of medications. He had tried to take control of his health after he ignored it for years. And uh, that ended up with him being on a lot of pills. And a lot of pills means a lot of side effects. And a lot of side effects means uh, you got to patch them up with more pills. And it's, it gets messy. 10 milligrams of terzepatide weekly, which is a monster dose. This is really a powerful calling card to all of you high-performing businessmen and entrepreneurs and investors. You obsess over making a lot of money. That makes you delay your health issues. That makes you not take prophylactic measures to delay disease. Taking care of your health doesn't have to be like a prison. What we're offering is ultimately reversing irreversible conditions and putting you on a track to keep your health. Throughout the process, we conducted regular kidney imaging, biomarker assessments, uh, body composition assessments, etc., in order to really make sure everything is being optimized, everything is on a clear path to success. Welcome back to the Peptide Science Institute YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Ali, the Head Transformation Specialist at the Peptide Science Institute. Today, I'll bring you a case study on how we successfully reversed chronic kidney disease, uh, reversed type two diabetes, uncovered in a hidden autoimmune condition, uh, two hidden autoimmune conditions actually, and more. So today the story is Jackson's story. Now, uh, Jackson's story is a miraculous one. When he had come to us first, he was suffering with type 2 diabetes, facing stage 3B renal disease, with his kidneys only operating at 30% of their normal capacity. His risk of a heart attack and stroke had skyrocketed, and he was projected to need continual dialysis within five years. In this case study, we share how within two months of his transformation program, we successfully reversed his kidney failure down to stage two and completely eliminated his type two diabetes. Additionally, we'll show you how we uncovered a hidden autoimmune condition his doctors has, have missed for years and we successfully cured it. And I'll share how his life has been completely enhanced in ways that went beyond his highest expectations. So a little bit about the client himself. Jackson is a 43-year-old man, 5'7", 205 pounds, who is a high-performing business professional and investor. He is the CEO of his family's business and spends most of his days working and driven to build a bigger and brighter future for himself and his family. Jackson was no stranger to illness as he'd seen terrible diseases like uh, cancer, multiple sclerosis, cardiovascular disease, and others debilitate close relatives to him growing up. Over the years, he had leaned on food as an anti-stressor, leading him to develop type 2 diabetes. He suffered bilateral kidney injury, permanently reducing his kidneys' capacities to function at their optimal level. This was due to a neurogenic bladder, and he was working and caught up in all the work and the business and the money, and uh, he forgot to urinate for two days. It happens. It happens very commonly. So, that had led to urine backflowing into his kidneys, causing hydronephrosis and chronic tubular interstitial nephritis of the obstructive kind. So his kidney function had been reduced permanently until he'd come to us and we reversed his uh, stage 3B, almost stage 4, renal disease. Though he's always sought out expert help for any issues that he'd faced, Jackson noticed that he was consistently getting subpar mediocre results despite giving his best efforts to stick to experts' recommendations. One day, he came across one of our case study videos where we revealed that chronic kidney disease is in fact reversible, and he decided to pull the trigger and sign up with us. His life had been changed forever. Now I'll walk you through the list of problems that he was facing, and boy, was there a lot of them. So number one, he had impaired kidney function. He had diabetes. He had impaired wound healing, stress eating, low energy, 
neurogenic bladder where voiding was nearly impossible without taking uh, a lot of medications that were prescribed to him that actually caused him hypotension and blurry vision and so much other things. Um, side effects to medications, as I just discussed, undiagnosed autoimmune condition, two of them actually, and worsening cardiac function, sleep apnea, and near daily recurrence of anxiety attacks. Jackson's lifestyle and what you could ultimately refer to as bad luck led him to being in this situation. A man in his early 40s with a high likelihood of dying in less than two decades. We thoroughly explained to him as well that were he to continue on the trajectory he was on at that moment, he could realistically expect uh, a severe decline to start happening within the following five to ten years. To put it simply, he was carrying high risks for complications with him everywhere he went, with a handful of these complications risks snowballing their way into almost becoming inevitabilities at a rather early age. Now let me walk you through our process. So we implemented a sophisticated science-based approach combining peptides, nutrition, and lifestyle optimization. Number one, precision cell augmentation, our proprietary method to paint a clear picture of Jackson's biology, utilizing medical history, biomarkers, and certain imaging studies. This is what led us to ultimately uncover an underlying autoimmune condition, Sjogren's syndrome. It's very frequently Sjogren's syndrome, a little tip for you idiot general practitioners who don't know how to diagnose, as well as asthma, uh, which were working against him in the background, giving him a sensation of walking in the mud. Actually, his sleep apnea was not exactly sleep apnea. In fact, it wasn't sleep apnea at all. Uh, they prescribed him the CPAP machine. He couldn't tolerate it. And he was like, okay, I'll just live with the sleep apnea. But really, it was undiagnosed asthma. Nobody had diagnosed this man with asthma. And they just told him he had a... He, they gave him a sleep apnea diagnosis, a CPAP prescription, and that's it. But he'd been asthmatic for a while. And nobody cared enough to notice even. Number two, advanced peptide protocol. A long, intricate list of peptides along with a detailed dosing regimen, and his list was long, tailored specifically to Jackson's needs and designed strategically to help both attack the root issues he's facing as well as provide quick symptom relief to pave the way for Jackson as he climbs his long mountain of recovery. Number three is molecular repurposing, where we restructured his medication regimen and supplement list, utilizing compounds that speed up kidney regeneration, optimize metabolic health, and prevent the formation of cardiorenal syndrome. Now, this was particularly tricky because this man was on a lot of medications. He had tried to take control of his health after he ignored it for years, and uh, that ended up with him being on a lot of pills. And a lot of pills means a lot of side effects, and a lot of side effects means uh, you gotta patch them up with more pills, and it's, it gets messy, but we sorted him out. Number four, targeted exercise program. So the targeted exercise program was aimed at improving cardiovascular health and uh, really focusing on getting blood to circulate more properly. He had, uh, he had a lot of blood flow issues. Number five, a comprehensive nutritional overhaul, a specialized diet protocol aimed at reversing type 2 diabetes and excessive daytime food cravings. Throughout the process, we conducted regular kidney imaging, biomarker assessments, uh, body composition assessments, etc., in order to really make sure everything is being optimized, everything is on a clear path to success for Jackson as he had approached us for that. Moving on to his results sections, and I'll share a before and after of his results with us, uh, particularly after four months of being with us, what had happened to his body. So before our intervention, Jackson's baseline metrics were very concerning. Number one, his estimated glomerular filtration rate, EGFR, was at 32, and that's with a cystatin C-based calculation, putting him at uh, stage 3B of renal disease, but nearing stage 4, really. Stage 5 is where you require kidney dialysis for your whole life. Number two, he was uh, in need of three anti-diabetic drugs in order to control his blood glucose. That's uh, terzepatide and metformin and an SGLT2 inhibitor, which was uh, empagliflozin, aka Jardians. And uh, yeah, we'll go on. Number three, wound healing was heavily impaired, where a cut would take two to three weeks to properly heal. And he'd gotten into the habit of applying topical antibiotic ointment on any cut that he might get in order to avoid infections. Number five, his average sleep duration was at five to six hours with poor quality due to misdiagnosed sleep apnea. Number six, his residual urine volume at night was up to 600 milliliters. Now, 600 milliliters is a lot and he would catheterize to get that out. So he was uh, really facing problems in uh, voiding with his bladder. 
So he couldn't void properly. He couldn't start the voiding process very well. And that would lead him to catheterize at the end of every night in order to avoid uh, re-injuring his kidneys the same way he had injured them before. Number seven, cardiac function on a downward slope with his asymmetric dimethyl arginine at 1.5 micromoles per liter. He also had the persistent erectile dysfunction, which is a proxy really for his heart health being on a downwards trend. Number eight, his energy level was at a 3 out of 10 perpetually, with 10 out of 10 being him uh, during his prime physical years, particularly aged 20 to 28, something like that. Number nine, stress eating was only kept in check by 10 milligrams of terzepatide weekly, which is a monster dose. That's a lot of terzepatide. It was both uh, helping his diabetes and his food cravings, but he even told me that 5 milligrams was doing almost nothing for his food cravings. He had monstrous food cravings, really, so on we go. After 16 weeks of our intensive protocol, Jackson's measured improvements were astounding. Number one, his EGFR had more than doubled from 32 to 72, moving him from stage 3B of renal disease down to stage 2. And that's not full reversal technically because, well, kidney disease is a disease that almost everybody has. Okay, even if your kidneys are functioning at a, near a 90% capacity, you're still in stage one of kidney failure. Okay, uh, old people's kidneys are they fail with age. So you don't have to do anything particularly uh, reckoning on your kidneys. You don't have to wreak havoc on them in order for them to start failing. They, they, they fail with age. So moving him from stage 3B nearing stage 4 down the way down all the way to stage 2. That's quite miraculous, especially because everybody told him he's going to just have to live with this uh, EGFR of 32, and uh, he, that's his new life. That's his new norm. His kidneys were injured. Boo-hoo. Well, <laughs> it's not true. Number two, his type 2 diabetes had been fully cured, even with the inability to tolerate just one anti-diabetic drug, where I wanted to keep him on Jardians just because I wanted uh, to protect his kidneys in the long term. Well, he couldn't even tolerate that. His blood sugar control was immaculate. <laughs> he couldn't tolerate even Jardians. He would uh, he would get hypoglycemic symptoms. Number three, his impaired wound healing also fully reversed. Uh, wounds would heal very fast within a day or two instead of a couple weeks. And uh, we don't even apply antibiotic cream on his uh, wounds anymore because there was no need. There was no risk of infection. Number four, body composition. His weight went down to 190 pounds. That's a uh, loss of 15 pounds of almost pure fat. His average sleep duration went up from five to six hours up to seven to eight hours with uh, good restful sleep, really, at the end of every night. Number six, his residual urine volume at night went down from about 600 milliliters up to that, down to 300 to 400 milliliters. And uh, he's really on the trend to hopefully stop catheterizing long term. Number seven, his cardiac function kept improving, his uh, erectile dysfunction was under control, and his ADMA, last we saw it, was reduced to 0 0.7 micromoles per liter. His energy level was perpetually at a 7 or 8 out of 10, with 10 out of 10 again being him during his prime physical years, aged 20 to 28. And finally, his stress eating became manageable despite the inability to tolerate terzepatide or even a microdose of retatrutide. And now I walk you through some of his testimonials that he had left for us. So qualitatively, Jackson reported, even one-tenth of the improvements I got would have made the transformation program worth it for me. Working with the Peptide Science Institute is different from working with any healthcare provider. When an issue arises, it is not met with a reactive spontaneous prescription. It is met with a tedious amount of follow-up questions followed by strategies that move the needle effectively and efficiently, baby. I was rubbed the wrong way by Dr. Ali calling all of my other doctors idiots initially, but within the second month of our working together, I started to agree with him, as he should. I was praying the bionic kidney gets fully released before I start needing dialysis permanently just to stay alive. And now his kidneys will last him up to his 70s, by which time the bionic kidney will probably be released. If you work with Dr. Ali, the one thing I'll tell you is not to expect normal. He's like no other doctor I've ever had. This has been a crazy adventure, I'll tell you that much. Life-changing, insane, expect the unexpected. 
This is really a powerful calling card to all of you high performing businessmen and entrepreneurs and investors that, um, you know, you obsess over making a lot of money that makes you delay your health issues. That makes you not take prophylactic measures to delay disease. That makes you um, delay symptoms and then end up badly injuring yourself, as is the story with Jackson. We got your back. We got you covered. What we're offering is ultimately reversing irreversible conditions and putting you on a track to keep your health optimized in the long term. That requires some discipline, but taking care of your health doesn't have to be like a prison. You just have to take it seriously, be on a specific disciplined protocol for your own health, individualized and structurized to your individual needs. And that discipline gives you ultimately a huge amount of freedom because all this money that you're making for yourself and for your family, etc., you're going to be able to enjoy it. I mean, number one, much more deeply because you're going to feel much more alive than you would otherwise. And number two, for longer, you'll live longer to enjoy and and really um, get a good feel for all the power and money that you've harvested over the years. So make of that what you will. This has been Dr. Ali, the head transformation specialist at the Peptide Science Institute. Uh, if you like this video, please bless us by leaving a like and a comment. They help the algorithm a lot. And uh, if you want your own transformation, head to peptides.link transformation. Um, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.